Hey guys, this is a Jordan to review, and today we're going to answer the question what's the best free Twitter app out there for Android? I tested 11 apps over the past couple of weeks and I got a recommendation for one. I'm glad this review is over. These 11 apps have been killing my battery life as they go in the background and request uh, internet access and update timelines and so forth. So let's get right to it. The one I'm recommending is TweetDeck. Uh, TweetDeck's in beta, but it's a really good beta, and I'm going to give you a tour of that app. This next row, and I'm going to try and run some of these other apps that give you just a quick preview of these other apps. But this next row are really good apps. So if you use them, I'm sure you're going to be served well by them. This next row are apps I don't recommend, and that includes the official Twitter app. And this last row are apps that you shouldn't even install. They don't work, uh, or they do sometimes, but they don't work. And I suspect maybe you know they're just really bad, or maybe they're even scooping usernames and passwords. I have no idea. So let's launch uh, TweetDeck and show you what that interface is like. Now the reason why I like TweetDeck is I think they got the mobile interface right. They're not as uh, feature rich as some of the other apps, so I can't put in a custom Bitly key, for example, or select uh, uh, you know what photo service I'm going to use from a long list of photo services. But what they do right is just this swipe interface. So you can move between these column views. So your timeline, you can switch to your uh, replies, uh, your direct messages. You can even create columns. So if you're searching for a keyword, so you're searching for like Hawaii or Android, you can add these columns. And you do that by just clicking search, typing in your keyword or your hashtag that you're looking for, you know, bring up the results. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can just add that as a column. So Twitter is really useful if you can start tracking things. So that's one reason why I like this app is you can have multiple columns and just switch back between them. You see these little icons here will tell you where you, you're at. Okay. Uh, so very simple interface when you click on something you can reply you can retweet using uh, the better method that is to edit the actual contents before you send something out uh, you can favorite things and do some basic things like you know create your own or delete your own tweets and things like that what I really like about writing a tweet is if you click on here you can start typing your tweet but it's just very clean here and they've got this um, feature called add contact so when you click on add contact you can just click on one of your contacts and it pops it in there. And so that makes it really easy to, to reply to folks that you often uh, tweet to. And you add contacts by just clicking on here and clicking on an empty spot and adding someone from your contacts or searching for a Twitter profile to add. So a very useful feature for uh, tweeting amongst friends. So that's the app, very clean, very easy to use. I don't know what this button is for. It's supposed to bring up a map. It hasn't worked, so I'm guessing that it's gonna be a map of uh, tweets in my timeline that are near me, I'm guessing, so we'll see. So that's TweetDeck, uh, still in beta, but very, very solid app. I just dis um, decided that I'm gonna use this for my own uh, Twitter use here. It offers other features, like uh, you can add in you know, multiple accounts and Facebook accounts and things like that, but I'm not gonna cover that. This is simply just a Twitter uh, review. The okay, next row, these are really good apps and hopefully I can get them to run because you know, when you run a lot of these at the same time, it's, it tends to get pretty slow, but let's see. A Twit Droid, clean interface, and this is your typical, highly customizable Twitter app. And it's amazing for free. So you can click on trends and settings. If you look at settings, for example, you'll probably be able to put in your custom Bitly key, uh, select your photo service, and, and things like that. So for those that require that, and they want that versus sort of a, a cleaner interface, this is a good option. Uh, so the pro version will give you different skinning options. You can select things like using real names instead of Twitter uh, handles, selecting your photo service from a list, and so forth. Video service is only in the pro version, version bit.ly information. All right, okay, so this is starting to slow down already. Let's see if I can kill some maps. Get uh, task killer and kill all of these. Okay, seismic or seismic. If I'm mispronouncing any of these Twitter apps, I apologize. I'm going to try my best. So, pretty similar to the one I just uh, showed you, Twitchroid. Replies. Uh, starting to see some performance issues here. Alright, so we can get into the settings. So multiple profiles, you can look at um, how often you update. 
video services and photo services and bitlies and URL shortening. So a lot of power user options there. Okay, Sobeys, uh, very similar. Okay, you got this little ugly interface here. And then you go, you click there, and then you've got to click there to go back to the previous one. So a little funky there, but um, pretty popular among some users. So that's Sobeys. And then Twitter. This is probably my favorite one in that row. The Twitter has a very clean interface. And if I can get it to come up, I can show you. Oh, there we go. And it's a little tighter, so you get more views on your screen. So you can see here, things are really tight, so very responsive app. I'll come in there. And the button bar, really tiny, so that you can see that they really try to maximize the, the space for your tweets. Okay, so that's Twitter. All right, now the apps that I don't recommend, I'm gonna start with the Twitter app. The official Twitter app, um, what I don't like about this app is when you first launch it, you go here. Every other Twitter app I have takes you to the timeline or something. So when you click a Twitter app, I think you wanna see something, not, okay, now what do you wanna see? And so they decided to throw this up at you. But it's the fanciest one, it's got these little animations and things like that. So that's the first thing I don't like about it. Uh, the second thing I don't like is that when you wanna retweet, just click on retweets here. Let me just go back there. I won't even show it. Anyway, the, the retweet function is the official re, uh, Twitter retweet, so you don't have the option to edit the retweet. And I don't like that. It's not useful for me, so for that reason, I, I can't recommend this particular application. So that's your Twitter app, the official one. Now, it does have some advantages, like they uh, claim to have a deeper integration with the underlying operating system, so you have things like integrated contacts. You can synchronize contacts, so that might be useful for some folks. So as you're looking at contacts, you can see you know, what somebody just tweeted or, or something like that. So that's useful for you, then that might be an option. Um, but you have to live with uh, sort of this very funky interface as well as the, the inability to, to retweet and edit your, your tweet before you send it out. So these three here, Yap Yap. Uh, I think most of these are ad driven, so you're gonna start seeing some ads. As there, Jenny is less than half, uh, less than a mile away, who cares? Sue tweet. Okay, uh, select your account. This one's for a very iPhone-like timeline. Um, probably the worst interface of all the ones that I tested. So. Okay, Andro tweet. And let's see. Ad driven here, yeah, it pops up, sort of looks like the other ones. Right. And then these last two, simple tweet. I don't know if I just gave up my Twitter username or password, but this one just, I can't log in. I've tried many times, I won't try again on the screen, but it won't even save it when I click on save password. Uh, this next one, so simple tweet. And Twit Pro. try to sign in that is my correct username and password and I can't so not sure what's going on there so hope this review has been helpful um, these apps here definitely are oops are good for the power set when you really want to customize thing so, um, tweet deck is just rock solid if you just want to on your mobile device use it to tweet and and look for information and, and have all that information at your fingertips so I definitely recommend that hope this has been helpful